time of out-of-control corporate power, which has brought us to uh, a crisis that has damaged all of us in America, it's not enough that we respond with the right policy reforms. We've learned that in the last two years. Most Americans are angry, and they want an explanation of who did this to it. This book gives us useful explanations that the Ameri American people are demanding. Yeah. Um, it's, our book is really a, a, a puzzle wrapped inside of a riddle, wrapped inside of a mystery. Um, the puzzle is why American society became so much more unequal and why that inequality took the very particular form that Rich already alluded to, namely the stratospheric rise of incomes at the very, very top, even while middle class Americans saw uh, very limited gains over the last generation. The riddle that's wrapped inside that puzzle is, is how this happened because of government policy, because we'll show in the book, and I'll talk a little bit about today, but the, the, the government was really at the heart of the rise of the winner-take-all economy. This is a story about our, what our leaders did and didn't do, how they redistributed income specifically to those at the top uh, over the last generation, in part by remaking markets in ways that helped uh, the well-off at the expense of ordinary Americans. And then the mystery that kind of wraps the whole package up is how this happened in America. After all, we are the great democracy of the world, uh, in which it's assumed that middle class citizens have enormous sway. And yet we've seen these developments transpire over a 30 year period. Uh, not just you know, one or two debates, but debate after debate after debate that's featured what we call winner take all politics. So I'm obviously not gonna be able in 15 minutes or now probably seven minutes to give you that whole story. Instead, I want to tell you a few of the clues we find that, that lead us to, to, to zero in on American politics as our prime suspect. Um, in some ways, as we write in the book, this is a bit like a murder mystery. And the first thing that I want to know is that we have a source of evidence that really wasn't until a few years ago available, DNA evidence, if you will, namely income tax statistics that show the distribution of income. What those statistics show, quite clearly, is that inequality is not a story of the broadening out of the income ladder with each rung moving a little bit away from the other. It's a story about the very top rungs of the ladder disappearing up into the sky like in Jack and the Beanstalk. This rise in inequality has been concentrated, it has been sustained, and it's resulted in very limited gains for Americans who are on the lower rungs of the economic ladder. And you don't have to take my word for it. Actually, the Congressional Budget Office um, the nonpartisan uh, congressional scorekeeper on budget issues has done a very good job of putting together Census Bureau statistics and income tax statistics to present a comprehensive picture of Americans after tax income. So this is incomes after government taxes and public and private benefits are taken into account. These even take into account in-kind benefits like health insurance. So we are talking about the whole picture. And what, what does that picture show? Well, as the Economic Policy Institute recently uh, pointed out, it shows that over the 1979-2007 period, roughly 40% of all household income gains went to the richest 1% of Americans. Now, that may seem pretty striking. It's striking to me. But get this. Over the most recent economic expansion, uh, the number is 53%. More than half of all gains after taxes, after benefits, went to the richest 1%. CBO data, you can actually break out the richest one-tenth of 1%, right? So this is a very small slice of, of the population through 2005. And you find that the top one-tenth of 1% received 20% of all household income gains over the 1979-2005 period, which was more than was received by the entire bottom 60% of the population. So the DNA evidence is clear. We've seen an economy that used to distribute its rewards very broadly, uh, with actually middle class people growing up, uh, seeing their incomes grow a little faster than those at the top to one that's winner take all.